Did you know that after resigning from his post of admiral, Aokichi joined the revolutionary army, not Blackbeard's crew? I'm not saying this just because I want to. Oda has given us important hints which foreshadow that he is a member of the revolutionary army. The first important hint being Aokichi's sense of justice. From Aokichi's conversation with Smoker in Punk Hazard, we learn that he's no longer affiliated with the world government, but he's on the other side. In Dressrosa, we found out that Aokichi affiliated himself with the Blackbeard pirates. However, knowing that Aokichi is a pure-hearted person, he would definitely not choose the evil side. This means that he had joined forces with Monkey D. Dragon and agreed to work as a secret agent to gather intel on Blackbeard. Another thing to point out is that during the Reverie arc, we learned that the revolutionary escaped the destruction of Baltigo and moved their base to Momorio Island. We know that the Blackbeard pirates, along with the world government, attacked Baltigo. However, judging by the events that occurred after, the revolutionary members themselves didn't deal much of a damage. Think for a second, how could this be possible? The answer to this is that Aokichi knowing about Blackbeard's plans warned Dragon about Blackbeard's intent to attack Baltigo. 